Hello there everyone and welcome back to Debrudder Creek. I'm your host, Mr. Kingdom of Prussia Lover. Oh yeah, Mocha Lover. But we gotta read about the Concord of Potsdam and then some comments. The priest assembled at August von Mackensen's desk, waiting for the big daddy to return. Negotiations for the new agreement they had signed, delineating the relationship between state and church had concluded the previous night. Some of them seethed internally. Most were resigned to submission. At least August von Mackensen wouldn't try to get rid of them entirely, not like the crazed cultists. The big daddy, after what seemed like an eternity, entered the room. As the egg cleared, a sword began. Article stop, said August von Mackensen. The noise echoed it through the room. I know the formalities which kept us up until three o'clock. Let me summarize, shall I? The aide looked at it, offended, but could hardly say anything. August von Mackensen returned. First, we agreed not to interfere with the Protestant education as long as we allow the incorporation of ideas and design to encourage loyalty and patriotism. No one can mistake the meaning of the last part. Uh, second, we agreed to not persecute your followers like the previous government had if you accept the toleration of all beliefs is here to stay. More than one priest looked down sadly at this, but they all nodded after a second. Third, you accept the total supremacy of the state in temporal matters, and we accept your authority to a limited extent in spiritual matters. The priest nodded again, accepting the old times were dead. So glad to hear you. You agree. While von Mackensen shouted in a tone so in a marked contrast to the menacing airs he put on during negotiations. Now, let's go see the people. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear of this concordat. The Prussian people are united behind the Big Daddy. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So, we had to form Germany first. We're doing the German National Revolution. Um, I think, did I read this one before? I can't remember. Heil Deutschland. All Prussians sort of the Big Daddy dream of a day when Germany is free from foreigners. We should destroy the old dimension and break the shackles they've imposed. Oh, look at that. On the Vaterland. And obliterate the petty Tungarians. The petty Tungarians of our, our nuisance, but are our nuisance, but a nuisance no matter what. Oh. Uh, quick reoccupation with the troops should sweep them aside. Nice. Of course, it is a 1938, and we're looking pretty okay on most things. We don't have any carriers, which is, you know, not the worst thing in the world. We need more military stuff, though. And I just, but what, I was going to war. I just want to see. Ooh, ethnic conflicts, nice. Um, do they have, that's slightly better for them. Dis, uh, disabilities? No, not disabilities. Oh, look at that. 50th Division Propaganda. Anything that hurts them as they are trying to advance uh, against Japan, so. 38, of course. Anything here? No, we're going well with that. Get some of this. We're ready. The chairs in a Prussian lines are destroyed. Uh, we need not fear internal descent for that age to destroy vampires. The nation and the army are both prepared for war wherever the big daddy points. Our targets right now are threefold. The petty crowns of Germany, propped up by France and Austria, in a desperate bid to deny the glory of the German people. The Austrians are traitors brothers, who deny the heritage and spirit of German greatness. And the French, the former Germans who have done nothing but weaken and crush the German spirit. All of them will see the reckoning. They sow the wind and they shall reap their whirlwind. With Germany fully united, the time has come. Soldiers to the front, leaders to the staff office, the workers to the factories. To the so that is the slogan of victory. Seek Heil. Nice. Process state, nice. Oh, practice civilian production. We could use more stability and whatnot. Um, before we do any of that stuff, though, we still have a bunch of things we can do down here as well. Uh, industrial research speed. I usually like doing that one. Okay, so these guys are all ge kind of generic. Even these buffs are fairly generic. Vulcan Vaca. Oh, minus 25% sub detection, huh? Yeah, so we can kind of ignore that stuff for now then. Um, you, use artillery. Um, it's been a few days since I've actually played this, so give me a few seconds here. So these guys are all 20 convoys, which is okay. Motorized. Use another army, basically another army, even though we have six. Good god, I'm not even. Don't even I don't even want to use that, that vision. <laughs> keep training, keep training. If that's the case, uh, we do have. What, no armor? We literally have no armor, and currently mobile warfare. Okay, then. Well then, basically medium tanks. We are trying to make some tanks, I think. Yes. We have a lot of this. At least we have 18 combat width. Update that. Um, just for expansion, that's okay. We can wait for that one. Um, factory output goes down, which I don't like, but I need more stability. So, I'm just gonna grab both of these actually. Stability, war support, that'd be good. So, Kessel? Over on Saxony. Yes, Saxony always was meant to be German. The very core of Otto the Great's empire will not suffer its independence any longer. And we're going to suffer attrition, why not, but whatever. Should go pretty quickly through here. Yeah, I mean, we'll have some supply issues right here, but whatever. Better radars, nice. 38, grab this other infantry stuff, that'd be good. Uh, we get 1.43 every single day, which is actually pretty nice as well. And war and wars. And we do definitely want the uh, North German Confederation as fast as possible. 
Um, 0 0.06 is okay. I mean, since we, we are going mobile warfare, we'll probably go this guy too. Uh, we don't even have anything except tanks here to do this. Nice. Goo fails. Overrun Saxony. You don't say, eh? Having this many factories is actually really nice too. We can do that stuff. 38. Logistics or armored trains. That'd be pretty nice. Oh, well, probably want to stop training then. And then, over. Oh, annex. Hand over. <coughs> Hand over. Oppressed by Britain for so long. Cries out to us for liberation. We'll grant them that in Avenger Humiliations of 1866. Yes. A couple comments included. Papa Goring. Well, we'll play as Papa Goring some other time, but yes, Papa Goring. So it says, all I can say is this. Remember your current ideological path is despotic, so you should support this, both sides in the Civil War. Um, my bad. I forgot about this. Serbian Civil War, too. Um, I supported the this the Nat Pops here instead of the despotic side. My bad. But, oh well. It is what it is. Um, yeah, there's not really much been going on down here. This is a mess. Can you guys actually do anything here? Well, if you guys actually help intervene, yes, you can. Before we go to war. But you'll be very soon. And then once these guys are done, we'll help them out too. But Monstein? Ooh. The Prussian invasion is, uh, Saxony. Shattering news from Germany today, the Kingdom of Prussia and August von Mackensen launched a full-fledged invasion of the Kingdom of Saxony, a close friend of the Austrian Empire. As it expands its borders, Prussia looks to be closer and closer to German unification every day, as the nation prepares for the final struggle against Austria. For now, though, they can wipe up the remaining German states, whilst the Austrians can only sit back and watch. Europe on her knees. Nice. Mountaineers. Yeah, the Bundes Autos Bahn will keep Prussia's cities connected and greatly improve travel times for both civilians and military. Let's work to complete this grand infrastructure project. What are we building here? We need some millies. We definitely need some millies. Yeah, put it there. We're at war. So we can't go war economy? No? Huh. I'm gonna go armor. Even though we have no armor right now. Whatever. Any other ships? Yes, we do. Nice. Also, we should have planes, but I forgot to put them on. My bad. Well, if you need to do that, that's fine. Naval bombers. So you guys just go up there. I don't really go up there. And then one, two, three. Actually, since you're all doing that, you go there. We just send some fighters over, so. But at this point, they should be able to do okay without us, right? Right? Of course, we'll annex over next, Hamburg Conference, and then uh, Bismarck's plan. Esteemed Chancellor Bismarck, for all his faults, did try to unite Germany under authoritarianism. We'll fulfill his dream by forming the North of the German Confederation. And we're going to go back, because we can. What are these fighters? Nice. Ground them as much as you can. Oh, they're actually expanding out. Well, actually, well, they're democratic socialists. The national populists are democratic socialists. That's pretty radical from each other, so. They actually make a Panzer division? That'd be great. Nice. Another comment was For end of a new beginning, can you play as a Sepoy Rebellion States? I mean, I can. I probably honestly won't for a while because there's so. There's a ton, 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 ton. Of people who want me to play all sorts of different things right now, and I just don't have the time. Actually, the time is recording. Actually, I do have some more, quite a bit more time than I did before. So, um, but yeah, it, we'll see. Okay, guys, now take these two missions out. Nice. Annex Hanover, yes. It's good. Don't get in a circle, guys. That'd be really bad for y'all. That Bismarck's bad, of course, too. Uh, if we want to do that, we can. But I want to save up for some of these guys, too. So it's best to wait. Sarajevo. Nice. Yeah, see? Now we got it. Well, that wasn't the survey that we really wanted, but whatever. And that's okay. For now. Just for now. Second Brothers Coalition. They still like us, which is really good. Command for us. They announced the Treaty of Vienna. Hamburg Conference. Argentina raids Uruguay. 
Um, for us, air raids. I'm not sure what I want them to do, but United Kingdom and the Kingdom of Hanover have been in a royal union due to close ties to their houses. <clears throat> This, of course, presents the problems that we must liberate the core of German land in Hanover without provoking an aggressive British response. One solution to this would be the Hamburg Conference, where we can make minor concessions to the British in exchange for a much more viable Hanover. Although the King will disprove of the move, we can likely convince uh, Westminster to depart from Hanover due to the inter interpolitical division and very deadly imperial instability. Send Westminster an offer. They approve. Today, Westminster affirmed the agreement to the Hamburg Conference, accepting our concessions while removing any lasting support for Hanover. We're not free to invade without any British military backlash. Nice. And in the meantime, so we did all this stuff so far. Oh. It's not in a civil war. It is... Oh, it has to be a war with something. Did you just on the front lines? Ooh. Oh, that sounds like fun. So over here... Ein Falk aus Neuslaven. I like Smarine. Capacity. Capabilities. Yeah, why not? Our land force must be capable of winning a battle, otherwise there's no point in trying to win. Yeah. We're still making destroyers and whatnot? What are we making? I'll just destroy holes. Okay. Um, modern armored cruiser. How modern is it? Uh, historical heavy cruiser? Nah, we're okay. Oh, we're still making those because that's what was originally here. Okay, then. Battleship armor 2. We have more than enough naval XP anyway, so. Quite a bit slower, but that's alright. It's fine. As you can tell we're not really focused on the Navy too much, so. And then light cruiser. Cruiser machine's nice. Level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2. Fire guns, level 2. Anti air, you want level 2. You want torpedoes? That's fine. Get at least level two, and then you are going to do this while you're going to do this as well. There you go. It works. September. Eh, he grabs this up too. If we really want it. Did I actually make a tank? No. Infiltration. French Empire announces preparation for war act. Oh, we did make a tank. Look at that. Hmm. I'm gonna keep them all together for now. Instead of on bikes, I'm gonna put Heinz. Carriers, because you can. 38. Anti air is not bad. Oh. Make threatening noises? <coughs> They're taking long enough. Now we should become entangled in a war with the Prussians. Westminster has called for the AEF to withdraw from the Kingdom of Hanover to return home, in which the Prussians will be free to invade them. Russian threats increase this partial speed of the AEF. The increased threats of border clashes and total war have caused the commanders of the Anglo Expeditionary Force to become nervous. Now I want to be abroad in the continent of war, so they've sped up their timetables. Getting ready to evacuate the Isles sooner. Can I ignore our might? If not completed. Wait. Effects if not completed. Okay. Pact with Britain. I mean, we could just kill him off anyways, but still. You can wait. It's fine. These guys obviously cannot wait. But whatever. We're not them. And they're not us. Wow, that's really bad. Hamburg Conference. They're playing right in Precious Hand. Nice. Oh, they're still training. Oh, crap. Liberation of Hanover? You betcha. Better infantry support equipment. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we may need some Marines later. Hey, look at that. Nice. Thanks, guys. We appreciate ya. Brussels Propaganda Initiative? Brussels uh, Propaganda Initiative has helped prepare the people of our mighty nation for the coming conflict? Yeah, pretty much. How many divisions they got? They got quite a few, looks like. That's good for army XP, though. 50,000. If they just accepted our deal to just be annexed, I mean, none of them would have died. War and wars. Nice. 
We don't have that many tanks. The mobile infantry is generally better for more infantry stuff, but... Hmm. Breakthrough. Blitz. That flat 10 more organization is really good. But we're going to do Blitz League anyways. We'll try it. So after that one, 24 days, Bismarck's plan is next. 63 days, my goodness, that's a long time. We need more divisions. A lot more divisions. Railway guns, because you can. Eh, let's go and start doing this stuff, dude. Someone says, a new era, Goring will unify Germany and help the German people. Eh, we'll see eventually. Someone says, can you play as Democratic Greece in Thousand Week Reich? Someone says, play the Soviet and Italy UMC mod campaign? I'm not sure if Italy has a unique uh, book to there. Spies Bogdanov? Yeah, I'll get there too. So, yeah, we'll definitely get there. Definitely, 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 definitely get there. So, Bismarck's plan, of course. And then, what is this? Ooh, the Winter Mench Tyrants. Yeah, Bukovina. Legacy of Lisi. The Stalag Pact. The Russians assisted us during the first Europa Creek and were the key to gaining land against the Austrians. We must pay our differences aside and secure the support of the Great Bear. And now we can declare the North German Confederation. Ah, nice. There we go. Formation of the North German Confederation. Mein Gott. Yes. Now we got more factories, more cores to work with, all sorts of good old fun stuff. And we got 1936 carriers, which we don't really need, but whatever. Um, I guess we'll make, put them in production. We probably won't ever use them, but you know, whatever. I don't want to get any. Uh, Naval auction done, anyways. Um, let's see. Anti air radar. That's there you go. Goodbye. Hello. Um, yeah, that's fine. Fine for now. Yeah, we're listening to a lot of stuff here. And let's get one thing of rubber at least. <clears throat> As we are doing the Stahl Pact. Um, this is going to be game for dealing with the guerrilla operations of Westfall once the war starts. Breakthrough. Ooh. Ultimate Tyrants. Around us loom up those who would shackle Germany, Britain, France, Russia, and of course Austria. Well, that's one we must face first, and we must prepare for the last Bruderkrieg. Yes, please. Uh, Prior to civilian production. That's fine. Get more stability. So all that stuff is done. The Stahl Pact is almost done, too. We're actually doing okay on everything now. We need more RD. But I mean, I'll make our divisions 40 combo to make them really huge. Uh, we will need a lot of guns, though, by the time we're done here. So get some more, a few more naval bombers. A few more tanks. The Russian Empire says offer non-aggression. <clears throat> Wanting not have hostilities between our two countries, Nicholas II has accepted it formal. Non-aggression back between us, so that no war will come between us. Excellent. The Hellenic Fatherland State seeks to join the Second Brothers, Second Brothers Coalition. As the current upheavals in international politics continue to reverberate through the world. Oh, look at that. Uh, the Hellenics uh, have decided, deemed us to be the greatest chance of surviving these tumultuous times. Therefore, we request to be admitted to our alliance, so may we weather this coming from together. And whether we shall. And whether we shall. Hmm, 939, get some more entrenchment. Okay, I'll probably use that. Alright, so we'll probably split these guys up. Um, you guys are just going to be staying here, doing that. I'm sure how strong you guys are going to be. You guys are going to be against these guys down here too, which will beef you guys up a little bit more. Um, you guys will be under someone else. Rum, Von Klug. You will be here as well. Honestly, we'll just probably split you up into two. That's wrong. Uh, just because we want to be an Austrian front, basically. I mean, it's one giant Austrian front, really. But you gotta be doing it like this. This so way I can separate it. It makes it a little easier for us. The Vienna Award? Oh boy. Alright, let's see. Tilsit. The Bonaparte's the enemy of the Free Germany. I'm afraid they are humiliated us in 1807. Stripping us of our land or dignity. We must have our revenge. We'll burn Paris to the ground. As we should. Go scavenger as well. Because you can. Recon. Interdiction. We'll get some uh, subs too. Fund the Rhine home front. Group General Academies. Capacity. Production. More fuel would be nice. Monkey is okay. Defending the last. Defense of the Fatherland. We have to be aggressive though. For free Germany. We can Austria's Austrian army. We can the South German Confederation's army. Yeah, Austrian's army is gonna be worse. Defections to us. 
Well, for free Germany. It's, it's not Germany saying, I don't know, the enemy attack us. No, well, two German strikes and destroys the enemies. That's what we must do. Well, break the Austrians of free Germany. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, there's a lot of things around here, and hopefully, we can start with, with this side over here. We'll see, though. We don't have a ton of divisions right now. I think it over. It's good. Hmm. Could I like to go here and over here, if possible? If possible. Go to guns, please. Promote air dentism. Yes. It's always worthwhile to do that. Always. Get some more of this and get some radar too. That would be very helpful in the front lines, probably. Industrial expansion. We're fine with that for now. Almost done promoting, promoting, promoting more stuff here. And that, focus on European Nationals Worldwide Revolution, of course. Yeah. Oh. Belgium prevents France. We're engaging more global, uh, a global scoop. Let's focus our efforts and on nations near to our borders who struggle to liberate the people from the oppressive tyrannical monarchies. Yes. It's not bad. Better consumer goods. I like that a lot. I like that a whole bunch. Some rubber. We need some fuel. We need a lot of things. Huh. But what else is new? Honestly, I don't think I'm going to need two of you guys here. Let's go with that. And I don't want you guys doing this. We're just going to need more divisions on this line. Yeah, take the cavalry guy. That's fine. Let's get with me. Franco British Non Aggression Treaty. Alright, so be it. Um, 200 global warfare, but you get armor, technology, speed. You know, because it costs so much, we'll do it anyways. Just because it costs that much. I've been almost puppeted. Oh, Japan's come back. Well, we don't want to go to war until they're done, but they're, they're fighting with each other. Not really. Actually, any syndicalist raids, Vanguard Socialism. Oh, but from the Balkan. The National Balkan Faction Service prevailed in the Serbian Civil War. As it's surrounded by the Pact of Freundschaft, we must provide guarantees to something. Find Gustav's ambitions. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Bear own to name in Margaret. King Gustav V of Sweden is a man of great ambition, but he's limited by the corrupt uh, conservative Swedish government. Uh, he'll be instrumental in forming a Scandinavian national revolution. With some support from the military, he can easily crush resistance and institute total control. Let's hope so. There you go. Suffering any attrition down here? No, hopefully not. Artillery gets better arty. would be nice. And we're going to grab him because we can. Should not have already gotten that one. God dang it. My bad. Oh well. It's over now. Um, Grab some of this too. Transmitting machines. Get some more fuel, anyways, because my god, we're gonna need so much fuel, it's not even funny. But since we're here, improve rubber processing, we'll get some extraction. Oh. Okay. Gonna be a crazy, very crazy when the war starts, but that's alright. We're like a little crazy. Use a few more tanks, it's fine. You know, way more guns, but we'll, we'll be we're fine on guns for now, too. Trucks, artillery. Um, give more artillery as well. More cast would be nice. And then, bombers, cast, yes please. Recon, very good. Maybe some military police as well. More naval stuff, sub attack, sure. Nice. And you know what, for now, stop training them. Because I want to see how much we can stockpile for fuel first. And find his ambitions. So that. Prepare Antonin and Margaret, brothers in arms. Stegand. Silesia or war. Prepare Antonin and Margaret. The authoritarian Kaiser dare keep the many ethnic peoples of his empire in his iron thumb. We must exploit this division and launch Antonin and Margaret. Destroying their front lines and industrial base. We'll take as long as we need to go to war. I mean, I'm fine with taking long. If we have to. Even more stability. More stability. We must be a very stable nation. Might even want some dockyards too. But keep building up all these buildings first. 
Actually, how many medium tanks do we have? 182, not that much, not that much. Guns are fine for now. RT air is actually looking okay too. Hmm. Recon would be nice. Does it give you how much more defense? It gives you more movement speed too. 11 more defense, not super great, but. Can we support that? Yeah, we can. I think we need more defensive. I got it. Ask for Swiss Junta to help out. Yeah, that'd be nice. Brothers in Arms. We'll get there eventually. Austrian Sabotage. We can send in spies to sabotage Austrian front lines against us, therefore improving our ability to fight them. Fund the Rhine home front. Ooh, that's not good. Dutch Revolutionary State, huh? We don't like them, but we hate the French. Four, huh? Will they accept us? They will, for now. Uh, let's wait for that one. 39, party. Yeah, it's good. Already as well, <clears throat> because that's going to hurt our front line by like sending it even more. Oh, how many tanks they got? Not many. Um, I want to get some extra armor. That's fine. Um, I can't even do anything there. So makes sense. So now we got to cover that line too. No, honestly, probably just make one solid front line here. Until the war starts, of course. There you go. Dig in. Go to the people for war. Austrian sabotage. I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. Revising an old plan. So out of the Jacobins, it's Holland. Austrian sabotage. Excavation. Fuel. We honestly don't have that many divisions on this front line, which is actually really bad. Wow, those are some thick boys. So that's the case. How many guns we got? Not enough. And we don't have enough of anything here to really stop them yet. So, uh, I'm going to have you guys just come over here. Go and go to the front lines. Because we definitely don't have enough yet. Bridge incident, huh? Fun, the Rhine home front. Bonaparte's first fall a failed state, a puppet of France, unable to control its own people and an economic collapse. A swift kick via Hedrich's rebels will crash the whole structure, a kick we will gladly provide. Yes. Hopefully these guys will be enough here to do and push through here and take Breslau and circle some divisions and kill them all off. This is my hope. Of course, they do, it, they do have to do with the uh, Russians, too, so. We're having an old plan. Once Operation Attila launches, we'll declare war on Belgium. No, we can't do this one, so. After a chance to visit our creator OKW, they made plans for every eventuality. One of these plans included invading Belgium to enter France easily. Obviously, the 70 year old plan must be updated, but the idea is the same. Belgium will not stand between Germany and destiny. So, out of the Jacobins. The Jacobins in the Netherlands are not only posing a threat to our ambitions, but the whole of Europe. Let's so make sure to secure their viable ports while also getting foothold in the Benelux. What's your name, Attila? Well, what's your name, in Steigen? The rising begins today. You will not let the oppressors break the German spirit. Uh, stand up, citizens, rise up for Das Vaterland. Propaganda poster in Munich. Be prepared. Silesia or war. Stand up, break the chains to free not just our people, but others. Death of Austria. Receptive central control does not exist. It's for ethnic militias. Huh. Well, there's those two. What we will do, as well as what? It's taking a while for us to get to there, but, you know, whatever. Uh, improve general academies. We have successfully improved our army. Now we must train our current generals and adapt them to the way of our current forces. How the, and how they currently operate. Austria denies. The Austrian government has denied that they hand over the core land of Silesia. This is war. So we get a war goal. I want to wait first to get uh, a lot of these um, <laughs> forts done because our army is looking very, very small compared to theirs, which makes sense, but still, whatever. I'll go to war soon ish. Of course, we'll be getting fewer fighting four, okay, or three, or whatever it is, because uh, I'm not reading apparently. And I guess they're uh, reviving the old, old plan. So I guess we'll do this one.
Because we can. Because why not? Um, so it shouldn't take too long to actually get all these done. Because we almost have another military factory, refinery, stuff like that. So keep building, 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 and we'll be okay. Of course, getting the radar will give us, uh, I wouldn't say an intel advantage, but it helps us out. It'll help, definitely, definitely, definitely help us out. So I'm going to get on fuel. Um, yeah, probably do okay. By God. It's not going to look very good for us. And if we do struggle, then I'll probably do some funky stuff off screen to see if we don't struggle. So, and we're almost there. 27th of April. General Academics. Academies. Um, we're in a wars. Oh, uh, we did do the thing with the Swiss. Confederate government. Well, maybe they might have denied us, but whatever. I can't remember, to be honest with you. And, ooh, another military factory. Very good. Plenty of tanks now. Plenty of tanks, which is very nice. Could use more planes, though, which is going to be a big issue for us. But, whatever. Better artillery, very nice. 1940. Some better anti air as well. And where are we at? Get one of these done. Green and then we'll go to war. Nice. Um, so that's not bad. Get some dockyards too. We could really use some dockyards. Uh, improve infrastructure for now too. So let's go and save and see what happens. Once we save, of course. And yeah. We'll probably end up dying. I'll probably end up doing this a little bit off screen, so. Second Brutal Creek. So they immediately attack us. And our alliance will hopefully be able to hold at least a little bit. Um, with you guys here, though, I want you guys to do this. This. Do that. We can send just one division that way. S Federation. Yeah, we're losing here, which is not good. Russia pledged to support a cause. Nicholas II has agreed to the time to get an Austrian. It's empire is one for all. And from now on, Austria cannot stand against us. Which is not good since we're fighting that group too. But we'll see, because they have, they have just a crap ton of defense. It's ridiculous. Well, they want to lose Silesia faster. That's fine with me. Of course, I'll send some divisions this way to help like, hold the line as well. Um, you guys, though, are struggling quite a bit. You guys can help us out here as much as you possibly can. Go there. Gleibitz. Help support the attack if you can. Counts. Cancel on aggression pack. What the heck? Uh, Russia, what are you doing? Um, so far, not bad. Uh, don't want to lose too much fuel right now. Losses. That's a lot of losses already. We've already lost 20,000, though. But of course, they're fighting the Italians. Oh, good. That's not good. That's quite not good. Um, yeah, not good for them. Uh, 1940s logistics. I'd always like logistics. Military police, which we don't have on anybody yet. Get more soft attack first, though. And since we're here, we got to go to war economy, right? Yeah, exactly. Who I thought. Hold, you know what? Just hold. The most important thing to do is hold. It's good god, they're burning up their manpower and whatnot. Or burning up everything that we've got. Uh, air doctrines, we're gonna grab this one real quick. Unless we do another one here. So, yeah. Grab that as much as they like. Push them over the river at the very least, that helps us defend. They could push us over the river. And another war that Russian Empire too, or yeah, it's good. You know the following Russian army marches? Nice. France mobilizes against us now too. Breaking the neutrality for the first time in over hundred years. France is run their away behind Austria. And will be a war this soon enough. Send troops to the Western Front now. Up at the Balkans Operation Margaret. So in a total war of raging fire. Fate of the Balkans. Djibouti joined. Watch out, we got Djibouti. You guys head over here. Help them out. Nassau. Yes, you may move your troops from here too. That's fine. Slaughter the Jacobins, of course. If you want to do that, just your head. We're having an old plan. Brothers in arms. <clears throat> we must continue to integrate and assist the states of our fellow nationals in our sphere. The European National Revolution shall succeed at all costs. I've seen trucks already. God dang it. That sucks. Get them out. Which is not good for Russia, because they're not necessarily winning against anyone else yet. But that severely helped us. Holy crap, this is not even funny. Um, it's going to be kind of sucky, but... If we do that fast enough. That's all that matters for us. It. Call in Serbia, too. Oh, that's going to be really bad for them. They're doing okay against Italy, though, for now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Help them out. Yes, sir. You can, you're the ones who cancel the non-aggression pack. Why? Why? Mobilize. Come on. 
Eight divisions. Holy crap. Well, if they want to do it like that, that's okay with us because they shouldn't be able to do very much against us, right? Right? Theory. A lot of theories. Sure, guys, yeah. Oh, they're fighting the. Oh, they can't do very well on the Russian front. Why can you not win here? Can you guys do anything here? You guys advance. Yeah. Right, you hold. You just go out there, anyways. Okay, Russia, please stop trying to kill everybody at the same time. You're like the Germany of this timeline right now. Please stop doing that. Russia, Margaret. Uh, Guya Gumbo strides into Goring's office, looking determined. Well, Margaret so smiled. Is that though? He exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I'm glad you joined the battle of the Austrian oppressor, Gombo said in a halted German, halting German. I wish to go back to my homeland and prepare for freedom. Von Mackinson chuckled. Okay, W was just thinking about that, he said. We'll drop plans to get you in a safe and some guns to your followers and we can liberate Hungary. Thank you, Fuhrer, Gombo said, bowing respectfully. It's an honor serving with the Germans to liberate the fatherland. The honor's all mine, Von Mackinson said, waving him off. Good luck and maybe tear Austria apart for the freedom in ours. Better the Balkans. The question of dividing Austria and his Balkan holdings has been a point of contention uh, in the Second Brothers Coalition since before the Second Br Brood Krieg began, but now the time has come to settle the question once for all. Italy Balkan dominance. Russia Balkan dominance. Austria plans to choose the treaty. Italian dominance. Uh, Russian dominance. Well, the Russians already have quite a bit of dominance, but probably get rid of them because they're, they're going to be very weak if they're fighting these guys and these guys and these guys, but maybe not. For now, I don't want to be too much of a dick about it. We're going to go with Italy. Because they're technically in our coalition, so. Go right there and circle them. Yay! 400,000 losses. Oh, Japan's joined the war, which makes sense. Alright, for France to join the war as well. I guess this too. Go straight through. Because I have played as Austria before, and it's really hard to play. It's very hard to play as Austria. So, fall of Prague. If we can move fast enough, and now they've gone to war with us, which is fine. We'll call all the guys in too, whatever. And hopefully we can hold. God, I hope we can hold. But if we can move fast and hard enough, the embargo us as well, whatever. It's the important thing is as long as we can hold, that's all I really care about. So now you guys can go right here and do this. Convoy raid. Let's see what you can find around here. Oh, we're going to be losing just a little bit here. The goal is to destroy Prussia. Not Prussia. We are Prussia. Destroy Austria as fast as possible. That's literally the only goal we have right now. Uh, guys, I need you over here too. Who has a stupid frontline system? Spread out. We're going to lose a little bit of Hanover, but whatever. Go, 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 go. 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 Follow of Krakow, which is good. They're trying to war. They're actually pushing us out, which is not good at all. Push them back in. How can you not push them back in? Probably because they have air superiority, probably. Yeah. It says you guys can win here. I kind of really doubt it. <clears throat> come on. Come on. Guys, go in. Why are you not going in? I told you to be reckless. Oh, it's because I didn't give him orders, probably. Is that why? Yeah, there you go. Go in. There you go. I'm going to hold for now. Be defensive for now. That's all that matters. Oh, look at this. Nice. Very nice. Wien is almost a frontline city. Oh, America's over there too. Go figure. Let's see. Get some of that. Losses. We have 167. Half a million. France should be losing a lot. All these attacks. All of Vienna. Ooh. Very nice. 
I'm not sure you should be able to claim Budapest as a, like, capital state or, you know, province, but at the same time, we should have a lot of resistance there, too. Do we not have a lot of resistance stuff there? You know? They're fighting Serbia and Romania. I mean, it's very hard playing as Austria. This isn't as e easy as I thought it would be, but now we got more attack and defense. It's going to help out quite a bit, hopefully. So all that stuff. That's one thing Valros. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, with the introduction of a blockade by Albert I, the time is coming to start preparing our invasion of the UK. First, we will need to invest a lot of our into a budget, into the navy, and dockyard production. Yes. They want to do that. We'll do that too. So be it. Why did you go to war with the Papal States at the same time, bro? This is fighting down here, anyways. Can you help support the attack here? Beirut. Nice. They're constantly getting attacked on that side. Help them out. Yeah, our front is doing very well. The Russian front, mm, not so much. Oh, we're out of manpower. God dang it. That's not good. Here. 40 guys. 11,000. Throw up a little bit more. Just keep it safe for now. Not to Congo revolt. British Raj is gone. Papa Raj. Well, you know what? Just stay here and drive straight down into Serbia. And then go this direction. Concentrate. Oh. Oh! Okay, then we're victorious over the Austrians. Uh, sure. Victory is over. The treacherous Austrians have finally arrived. After a century of utter humiliation, we've risen from the ashes and destroyed the old order. And then shall stop the Prussian war machine now. Bismarck smiling in his grave. Well then. Well then, okay. Well, at least we won. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, that's kind of ugly. That's kind of cool at the same time. Impetus of Croatia. Hungary, which these borders suck. But you know what? This mod still in development, stuff like that. And we'll fix these borders up probably too. So we didn't get very much. Oh, they denied access to the Gusta as well. Nice. Alright, so revolutionary Hungarian state. Nice. Oh, they're. Oh, I guess we didn't give it to Italy because we did say. The, well, technically you're not part of the Balkans, are you? We got nothing out of that. Well, I mean, they're not, not under us, but you know, it's not bad. Honestly, hmm. I would prefer to have the Slovaks under us. Maybe giving the Hungarians to the. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking. Or not thinking here. Trucks. We have more trucks. More support equipment. We still have more? Holy crap. Okay, yeah. All more tanks. Oh, way more tanks. Uh, go there too. That's fun up there. Oh, uh, we're gonna need way more naval bombers too. Way more fighters. Way more cast. We need way more refineries. There you go. Well, Budapest. Well, Munich. Beautiful. Go ahead and rush the line. Just kind of help them out. Well, it's a war of the UK too now. Treaty Munich. Lots of Congo revolt. The order's risen. Yeah, you bet it has. Okay. Damage infrastructure, Confederation of the Rhine. Yeah, we can do all this stuff if we really wanted to. I do that one. Just because you can. Greece demands return to the islands. The islands of the Aegean, occupied by foreign forces since the Greece's collapse, have been demanded to be returned to Greece by the Greek father, uh, father in front. The ring war not given. Oh, that's fine, you can have it. I don't, I, I don't care about it. I don't care. Why would I care about those stupid islands? How are we supposed to administer all those islands from here? Well, now the French have made, I'd say, quite a mistake. But now we have to fight the UK's ball. Back to Freundschaft. South China Republic. God dang it. Well, up they're ready. Because we're going to go just blazing in right now. Ooh, Spanish stuff. How are they doing on this front? They're doing okay. That's not bad. Uh, it's not doing bad over here, too. Uh, Japan is busy with buying a clique as well. Are we poised to go and win? Probably not. But that's okay. Straight through. Straight through. If you possibly can. So, actually, with this. Uh, yeah, they love sending their ships here. 
get us more XP. Oh, just destroy them all. I love it. Nice. Sure, guys. Oh, no? Okay. See what you can do. So I'm just gonna push through here fast enough. That's all I really care about. Go to Luxembourg. Nice. Yes! Restate the Congo. They're doing force defense. Holy crap. Congolese Revolt. Jesus Christ. Save their souls, because my god. Lord knows I'm not going to. Go to Verdun. Take French soil. Nice. Sub go bye bye. Sub go bye bye. Combos go bye bye. Oh, oh, we made an encirclement here too. Ooh. <clears throat> of course, they get to know a little 10 forts here. We have forts. They don't. Beautiful. It'll be very costly for us, but that's okay. Keep them poisoned in the north. You guys, I want you to flood through here. They're kind of not really flooding through Italy, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> keep them busy. Like, seriously, just keep them busy. I don't care about that stuff right now. Yeah. This is not going great up here in the north, but whatever. <clears throat> Second Bush War. How are we doing with... Oh, yeah, we definitely expanded in the center. Oh, that's so nice. That is so good. 41. Not quite there yet. We will need some more military, please. Um, I was, I was, uh, get some of that. Why not? Support equipment. We'll need definitely some more of that, too. Rubber. We have our own rubber nation. Nice. Uh, what is that? Support ethnic militias. At least Bohemia and Austria is a puppet. Austria, why would we ever do that? I will never choose this one. Italian question. Resubbish central control. The old Austrian lands have been in chaos, and with several supportive ethnic militias running amok to really control these lands, we need to assert German power. Those are no doubt raised memories of the old Austrian Empire. <clears throat> yeah, their center is just fallen. It's ridiculous. You just ride the coasts. We're taking Paris. I've got Luxembourg back. It's fine, whatever. Um, if you can move fast enough up here, Amiens. That'd be great. Anything here? Infantry experts. Forts. I don't need that many more here. We've got a lot of tanks now, which is nice. Artillery's nice. Get more tactical bombers, whatnot. Um, yeah. So just take everything here. Good. Keep them busy. Keep them surrounded. Ah, and they were destroyed. Yay! And there you go. Probably what, a quarter million losses? Not quite a quarter million yet. Just good, good, good. Get more guns because you can. We've got plenty of steel for it, so. And, nice, not bad. Just right here, do this too. The Benelux is actually the most problemsome area for us, which is kind of weird. I think actually we're pushing out too a little bit from where we're at, but that's okay. Uh, they were not expecting us to do this. Unexpected resistance. While there's been overall great acceptance of the unification of Germany, even by, by force, there's been unexpected resistance to our pan-German movement. <clears throat> uh, the first of the problem, of course, is the darn Catholics. They follow the orders of the papacy instead of August von Mackensen, the leader of the German people. They view their religion as more important than our ambitions to unite all Germans and must be crushed. The people, Pope's influence must be dealt with. That sucks. The Brits mobilize. On the plots of the traitorous Austrians, the pesky British have mobilized their armed forces and have massed a large number of airplanes and ships to assist in their downfall. A grave mistake. Quite literally, a grave mistake. Can't see her all the time, but whatever. We'll leave here soon enough. Ooh. Let's go here. Go there and completely encircle and destroy. Anyway, when you're doing your stuff, force it. We got encircled down here too. My god, we are moving so fast. I guess go here. Hey, you're not longer encircled. Yay. Oh! We destroyed quite a few light ships. Nice. Force defense. Makes sense for them, I guess. You know? Straight through the mountains. Nice. Good stuff. Ooh. More convoys? I love it. Oh, they're trying to needle invade us. We've signed a white piece. Well, these guys are all going to die. Uh, Petra's a Okay. 
Didn't get sweet and quiet into our coalition, but whatever. Worst events. I mean, you, you're gonna just kill off so many Germans. Like, that's ridiculous. Hey, peace conference. France has fallen. Uh, the French have surrendered. Today, the French traders negotiated with August von Mackensen. Oh, look at this. After the Emperor Napoleon VI fled Africa, the Prussians had steamrolled through France to the point where the French government was put forced to put up the white flag. The victory puts Prussia even closer to successful German unification. Peace was signed in Onzebrook, the city where the Jew that brought an end to the Thirty Years' War. A new dawn is dawning over Europe. Nice. <coughs> Absolutely beautiful. And a little bit of lag. I do declare war. Oh god, god, what the heck? So we've Holland here, which makes sense. Where's the flag of ne uh, not Netherlands, but Norway? Uh, Rex protected Belgian. Very good. We have Parisian industrial zone under uh, Piat Push. Oh, who's here? Burgundian kingdom led by Lucas Evans, very German name. Rene Bosquet, Toulousian France. Breton Social Republic led by this guy. And Marseille. Provence. Second for this war. Sakar Ali did. Oh, so okay, so these guys, you're actually an Italian puppet. You guys down here are still under us, which is not bad. Ah. Interesting. Very interesting. So now I'm gonna send you guys. Um where are we for land option after that's a good question. Uh Modern Blitzkrieg, Volksturm, Backhand Blow, Breakthrough. You know, break through overwhelming fire. Hines. Unexpected thrust. Delay. Blitz. Counter by elastic defense. Breakthrough. Counters ambush. Overwhelming fire. Bonsai charge. I like that one. Let's go with breakthrough. Well, not bad, everybody. Reserve we'll control. The Italian question. We'll probably do that one. While we promised the towns, the region of Slovenia and Tyrol before the war to get them to support a cause against Austria, the people of the two regions yearn to be liberty and incorporate into their bulk's command shop. Our polite appeal might anger the times, but they should be foolish to dare oppose us. <clears throat> Scale the North front. Oh, are you guys fighting all these guys too? There are a lot of allies. Yeah, that's fine. Scandinavia is strategically important for a number of reasons, namely the vast production of steel and control of the North Sea. We must act quickly to secure a strong position in the North before our war with Britain. Well, too late. Ready the Reichsmarine. We wish to ensure that Reichsmarine officers of Bakarl Dodens are ready for the final invasion. With strong tactics, they should surely be able to wipe out the Royal Navy. It's for the cult of Kali. Well, we can't do this one, so. Germania rules the waves. With their naval interests and improved naval tactics, none shall be able to stop our new fleet from dominating the open seas. London, here we come. Maybe the war machine bring mercy to Britain. And United Germany? Form Germany! Today, the Berlin Reichstag. August von Mackensen announced the declaration of new United, unified Germany in front of hundreds of thousands of attendees. For centuries, Germany has laid in ruins, devastated, crushed by the internal conflict and external threats who seek to exploit her people and resources. <clears throat> but through Prussia's military prowess and nationalism, Bismarck's dream has finally triumphed and fulfilled. Now since Karl de Grosse have the German people been so united, Stroud, strong and proud, Deutschland Uba alles, my friends. We have done it. We have finally done it, and the German Empire is born, but I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will invade the UK, and maybe probably even some other people. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous rest of your day.